Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we're gonna go over the design for our game. So let's get that started. Alright so let's get started on your first game. Uh, so before we even open the coding we're gonna go over the design of it or planning. And I'm pretty much gonna do a clone of Windjammers. We're gonna well, we're gonna try to make a clone of Windjammers on the Atari 2600. So if you never played Windjammers, uh, here I have a, or some documents open. And uh, let me just let me just explain how the game works right over here first. So it's pretty much like any it's gonna be a sport game ish. It's not a real sport. Oh, oh. It's gonna be a one of those fancy sport games. Uh, if you ever play like uh, the Final Fantasy X, there's the the game where you play underwater. It's pretty much one of those uh, fancy-ish game like. And uh, like I said, it's pretty much like Pong. In Pong, if you remember, we have two paddles over here. Player left and right, zero and one. And then there's a the ball. Then it keeps pinging back and forth. And as soon as if you miss the ball and you hit like this area over here, then you would get a point. And if the player on the left side did that to the right, he'll get a point. It's pretty much like that. Except instead of paddles, have this direction of up and down. We have a player which is playing a uh, frisbee like game, and he has all this direction he can go to. So he can go. Uh, up, down, left, right. I'm gonna put a diagonal too, so I can go all of these directions over here. So he's not restricted only to this y-axis. So, so that's a player one, and of course you're gonna have two players to play the sport. Well, this uh, wind jammers like game, and pretty much pretty pong. You're gonna have a ball, and then we can either then the the objective of the game is pretty much like Pong. So you're gonna throw it, you're gonna try to get in the in front of this ball. In this in this game it's pretty much like you're gonna catch it. And if you catch it, you try to throw it and you're trying to go over this area over here, hit somewhere in this area in order to score a point. So choo choo. So the game starts by pretty much one of the players having the ball. And when he has the ball he is stuck in that position. He cannot move as soon as he has the ball. He has to throw it. And he can only throw it like diagonally or straight. He can only go straight from this view. He can he can all throw upwards or downwards or something like that. So we're gonna restrict that too. And once he throws the ball, it's your job or the opposite player to catch the ball. And he throw the ball as well. So the only thing to keep in mind once you catch the ball, you are stuck in the position where you got the ball. However, if you don't have the ball, you have free range to walk around to either block him. Like you can put right over here and if you predict he's going to come over here. You can get the ball over here and throw somewhere straight, something like that. But the main thing to keep in mind is that you're going to have a ball. If you have the ball, you don't move. If you don't, you're free to go. Of course, you're gonna have a score, like I said before. So here is a score for player one and player two, and you're likely, pretty much like wind jammers, you're gonna have a time limit. I don't know, like one minute. Whoever scores the most, something wins. So that's pretty much the gist of wind jammers. So let me go over the document over here. Here's the variables. Uh, this is for, as I was explaining, I wanted to put some of this. Uh, variables that I know I'm gonna need. Uh, in front of the description, I know I'm gonna need some random for who starts first on Wing Jammers. Generally, it's always player one, but I, I'm just gonna make it random. And for the players, I know I'll need a uh, position, uh, state, and the state is has ball or not. And is there anything else? Uh, each player has his own score. And um, I guess that's it for now. 
And then, of course, I'm going to have a ball. And it, it's going to need a position as well. And when wind jammers, you do have a, um, a special move. I don't know, special. I don't know if I'm going to make it or not. Probably special. And you're going to go over it as we make the game. For it. It's pretty much like a good uh, amount of uh, variables you have for now from just so it went over. Uh, but that's the main focus is going to be on design. So here I have the document design. And here I have the template by Benjamin Stanley. So a big thanks for him. And right here, if you use any of your game credit, this document. So big thanks for Alec Markarian and Benjamin Stanley for creating this uh, template. And it's right here. We did the work, so you don't have to. So thanks a lot. Because I didn't want to do all this work. So uh, just just start up. I uh, should just go over it first. And then, uh, well, let's just write a little bit, you know, go over the rest. So I decided to name this game Combat Disc. Uh, homage for Wind Jammers the Disc and Combat for the old Atari, one of the most popular Atari games. And this is made by Programmer Dan. Revision 1. So let's just start off with this. Let me save this. So let me just go over some of this stuff if you, if you can. Some of this stuff is going to be redundant because I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a clone of uh, Wayne Jammers. So, Tim, uh, I know it's going to be Frisbee. So, it's a Frisbee. Oh. Frisbee sport like sport game. Fiction sport game. I can just go over it because it's taking forever to die. So, I just went over it. Uh, the gameplay uh, target. Just gonna write it down because that's the point of the video. Atari 2600. Orientation. Oops. I'll take this off. All right. So project scope. We have any time scale? Uh, not really. I'm just gonna do this. Try to make us one video a week, like I've been used to. Uh, probably might not do a little bit on Thanksgiving. It's coming up a few weeks from now. But besides that, it's just gonna stick to that. Uh, core team, just me and you, baby. Let's see. License, out of where are the costs? We don't have any costs. We just have time. That's one thing that we have. Uh, influences, Wayne Jammers for sure. Sports, and all the other stuff. Elevator pitch, uh, like it says, uh, it's a 60 second pitch. Like you Pretend you're a pitch in a game in an elevator. So that's what you have over here. And uh, you know, even though I'm going over through this really fast, if you're like, if you have a original idea, it's really good. Just if this this template as well. It's uh, so, so wonderful. Just to go over it and just dash it out some ideas. This is a really good uh, place to start. Even if you don't have an idea what game you want to make, I think this uh, game document is really well set up, so you can that uh, at least write it down and then you're gonna have some kind of concept in mind so uh, if I never had a uh, wind jammers in mind if I were to describe it, it's pretty much like uh, a mix between pong and frisbee even though <laughs> frisbee is not really a popular thing but that'll be the game then you have project description and project description detail huh. Well, it's pretty much going to be a Windjammer clone, so if you played it, I'm probably going to put a link on the description of like some Windjammer games going back and forth. What set this project apart? Well, this is for the Atari 2600. I, I don't... I think it's well set up to at least have a clone-ish like game. So, core gameplay, I already went some to that. Story, we just throw this. Uh, let's see, gameplay briefly. Uh, we don't need any of that. Assets needed. Uh, what are you gonna need your uh, data? No 3D sounds. You're gonna go over sound code. 
animation, we need that, and this is our schedule, and milestones, and so forth. So, it's pretty much the design part of it. Uh, here I have the, the our variables that I'm going to start with. Mm, and uh, this, I'm just going to keep it at that. How big is this video already? About well, 10 minutes. And uh, yeah, just, just finish that. The neck. So that's pretty much going to be it for this video. In the next video, I'm pretty much going to go gonna start the coding part at least setting it up and well, let me save this probably save this and I'm gonna start to uh, save all this stuff and set up a github and GitLab account so because before you all had the other reference materials that we needed you know I was putting the link in the description the best I could. I think I put all of them down. Sometimes I might forget, but I always go down and put it down. But this time we're gonna start from scratch. So I'm gonna save all of this, put on put on GitHub or GitLab. I'm gonna put it on the link in the description as well. And we can all uh, use that as reference as well. Uh, so like I said, that's pretty much it. In the next video, we're just gonna start the setup of our game. So. Thanks for watching guys, see you then.